Welcome to the Land Cruiser Project. What we do on this channel, among other things, is review the listings from uh, online, like Cars and Bids, Bring a Trailer, Craigslist, etc. And we're looking at 80 series, 100 series, and 200 series Land Cruisers. And the reason we do this is to identify common issues, um, to identify things that maybe uh, sellers aren't disclosing, and just otherwise, you know, better inform you should you be in the market to purchase one of these vehicles. Um, so yeah, they're, they're great vehicles, but yeah, not every single one of them is perfect. Anyway, so this is a, uh, what we're going to study today is a 1999 uh, Toyota Land Cruiser UZJ80. This is the second year of the 100 series. Uh, it's currently bid up to uh, 17,000. I had to double check that. 17,250 bucks. There's two days left and it's a no reserve auction. Uh, this is coming from Vantage Auto in uh, Manaki, uh, New Jersey. Uh, we have seen a handful of listings from Vantage Auto over the last couple, uh, yeah, I guess weeks. And yeah, so they're a common seller here. But yeah, this one's got 126,000 miles. It was uh, registered in Florida before the before they acquired it. So this is this is their mo. Somehow they've got sources apparently down in the southeast, and they're getting relatively clean vehicles. Um, up to yeah, New Jersey for resale. And yeah, it sounds like they're they're doing pretty well based on at least prior listings. Uh, let's see, anything out of the ordinary. Let's go down the side here. So it's got River Rock Green Mica, which is yeah, a color I personally like. It's got the beige leather interior. That's kind of like the tan color. Um, everything else looks pretty normal. Uh, let's see, so it's yeah, no reserve. It's got uh, service records since 1999, since new, a clean Carfax report and a clean New Jersey title. Uh, let's see, so the front bumper was repaired and repainted and paintless dent removal was performed in 2002. Oh, my heart, <laughs> I hate BDR so bad. Again, better than a repaint, but I hate the techniques that most of the PDR shops do. Anyway, the right rear door and the rear bumper were repainted in preparation for the cell, uh, which yeah seems pretty obvious. There's a yeah, pretty big um, yeah, color difference in, in these panels, especially here on the lower side. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, the front seats and armrests were reupholstered in September of 2020, and the selling dealer notes faded wood trim and stains on the carpets. Okay. Um, digital odometer shows 126,000 miles, and yeah, really not much information there. Everything seems pretty pretty stock and standard. Let's go ahead and look at the, the Carfax report. No damage was indicated in the listing, nothing disclosed um, here in the Carfax report. It uh, looks like one owner had it through, you know, maybe some sort of yeah, corporate lease based on this through um, yeah, 38,000 miles in six years. Well, no, that actually 38,000 miles happened. Holy cow, if that's right. So from J January of 1999, uh, where it had end of January, so the first part of February, it had 10 miles. And then five months later, four months later, it had 38,000 miles. That's insane. That's absolutely wild. That is a lot of miles in four months. It's like 12,000 miles a month. And again, given the age I, or the time frame, I wouldn't expect uh, readings, uh, you know, or not readings, but service history to be noted here. But that's definitely something to look at. That is a lot of usage. Uh, you'd want to make sure that it was maintained properly during that time. Yeah, very heavy usage. Uh, Everything else seems, you know, ticking up pretty normally. Looks like it's stayed in Florida. And, yep, there we go. Let's just do a quick search for timing belt. So it looks like we've got a timing belt replacement at 93000 in 2014. Uh, coming up on time frame there, um, mileage, it's got plenty to go. Let's go ahead and plug this into vehiclehistory.com, see what we come up with, see if we can find out how much they um, they bought it for. So paste in the VIN. Also, we should Google it. Uh, let's see, anything come up here? Yeah, nothing Nothing showing up just in Google. And unfortunately, nothing coming up in vehiclehistory.com. So back to the listing we go. And yeah, so 125,000 miles. That's crazy low. I mean, not crazy low. It's, it's low. Um, 
I don't quite know what to expect. Um, you know, we've got a handful of repaint notes already. Some of that's being disclosed. Um, it has lived in Florida, so there's a possibility that it's been, you know, parked outside and left out in the sun. Uh, so we'll kind of validate that. But looking at these photos, you know, from far away, yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty clean. That river rock uh, is, yeah, is a good looking color. Yeah, it does not look, yeah, something looks off. The top part of these doors seems pretty good. Um, it's a little, yeah, it's a little dark, I would say, starting here in the quarter, about halfway through the quarter panel through the door. That's kind of where the color is just not quite right. And you would expect the color to be off, you know, so fresh river rock paint is going to look deeper and darker than something that's been in the, the Florida sun. So incredibly hard to match paint on an old, on an older vehicle. But anyway, looking at the front, I mean, all your gaps look pretty good. doesn't look like it's yeah, had really much of any bumps. Um, the paint does, I don't know if it's just the reflection, but it kind of looks a little goofy here on this passenger side. But anyway, looks pretty good. It's got just regular highway tires. Not quite sure what's flapping around here on this rear quarter panel. You can see it's yeah, changing positions um, yeah, at the lower part there. But yeah, it looks, I mean, looks, looks really clean. looks pretty good. Wish it didn't have a sunroof. Um, maybe the front torsion bars could be adjusted up a little bit. Let me actually actually maximize this. Maybe the front torsion bar could be adjusted. It seems like it's got a little bit too much right. Could just be the angle of the photo. But appreciate the, uh, the different lighting conditions. Maybe that's just different filters. It looks like whatever was uh, yeah, flapping around in that uh, rear quarter panel has been removed. Gaps in the rear look look good. Nothing, you know, nothing really out of the ordinary. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a sag on this uh, passenger side or driver side bumper cover. Um, it's got an aftermarket hitch. It's the Reese brand one. We've talked about this. the The factory hitch kind of has a usually has a lower part. Um, you know, protecting the exhaust. You know, when you go off roading. Not again. Not a big deal. Just something to note. But yeah, looks looks pretty nice. You can really see that paint. Looks like the the paint they did, yeah, also got back into um, into the rear quarter panel. I'm kind of curious where it where it be begun and end. And then this could be a dent up here in in between the what the C and the D pillar on the passenger side on the roof. Um, hopefully we can get a detailed photo, but it, yeah, it persists through the photos. So there's definitely something there. And you can see it a little bit better uh, there. I would call that more than a ding. Like that's a substantial <laughs> dent. But otherwise, yeah, it looks pretty, it looks pretty good. It's crazy that, yeah, the record shows 40,000 miles like in the first 12 months. It's just wild. Can't get over that. Rock chips in the, um, in the paint, you know, that seems, you can kind of get a little glimpse of it in different parts. Yeah, that's commensurate with the, with the mileage, so I wouldn't go out on a limb to say that it's been repainted. Yeah, good looking, good looking front end. Um, yeah, fog lights are, uh, you know, a little bit hazy as you'd expect from a life in Florida. But the tires look like they're in good shape. Undercarriage that you can see looks good. The roof looks good. Yeah. Yep, good detail shots here. Good to see those. I don't know. So they've done something on these fog lights to clean them up. I also note some light scratches here on the passenger side of the front bumper. But yeah, overall, yeah, looks looks really clean. Pretty good. Yeah. Not sure what to say. I, I do like the front look of these, like the front end. This is like a particular, like this profile of the front. It just, you know, it's one of those, one of those uh, aspects and the angles that I really like. Looks like some, some paint defect here around the front wheel well. I'm uh, not sure if it's been touched up. And like the color just, it's supposed to match. So I, I'm guessing there's a color difference between the body and the front bumper. And I'm kind of seeing that continue. So normally the 99 isn't going to be two tone, and so I'm I'm presuming, it, you know, yeah, the 99 Land Cruiser isn't going to be two tone. So I'm assuming at some point they decided, hey, let's you know paint you know from the belt molding down, 
yeah, that's maybe that's what happened. It could just be the camera playing tricks. Um, the seller in the in the comments was saying that you know the they've got the contrast turned up super high, but I don't know. I'm I'm more of the uh, you know, the camp like just let the photo or let the camera do the work and you know, leave Photoshop out of it. Don't adjust stuff if the you know you can explain the stuff as opposed to saying yeah I modified the photos. But anyway, looks 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 really good actually. I mean, maybe the paint's a, a little lighter than I think I'm used to, but yeah, looks good. We're not, we're not going to keep dwelling on that. I'm sure you're probably like, shut up. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit of dent here on the roof right there on this left. And yeah, that kind of continues. It's not on these middle pieces, but it's definitely there present on the right side. Um, yeah, I wonder what caused that. Um Interesting kind of corrosion on the bracketry for the for the plug. Again, super minor. You just pull that off. Looks like very light um, cracks in the the housings for the tail lights. That's something that my um, my ninety nine had. Uh, it looks like some scratch with some touch up here on the um, on the lift gate on the upper hatch. I don't see the scratches or the the cracks on this passenger side. So I wonder if that's a replacement. Looks good. Lots of photos of the exterior. It's good to see. But going back to the idea, like on this passenger side, like the color seems to match top to bottom, you know, above and below this. So I don't, I don't know what to make of it. It's yeah, they, it must just be a photo setting. All right. I'm going to stop talking about the paint. Do note a little chip or a ding here. Um, it's kind of funny catching a rock, rock right there. My 99 had one of those too. All right, enough of the exterior photos. I'm dying here. So many. Again, there's that look, that side profile I just love so much. Uh, a little bit of touch up there on the front part of the passenger fender. Holy smokes, enough of the photos. <laughs> All right, finally, we're to the wheels. Thank goodness. And yeah, just regular Michelin highway tires. Seeing a little color back here. That's curious. So that's, this, you know, one of the spots you want to look out for. I don't know. I'd like a detailed photo if I was interested in it. And way too much tire shine on those tires. All right, moving to the interior in the driver door card. Uh, yeah, a couple nicks out of it. Um, the switch panel is not sitting quite right. Everything else seems like it's yeah, pretty well intact. It's kind of funny on my 99 too, it ended up with this weird like discoloration, almost like mold. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it, and it's, but it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It looks like maybe a screw is missing there or they used something different in the front part on the underside. It is nice that these uh, these 99 and 100 series Land Cruisers have like positive retention on those door cards at the bottom. Most, um, yeah, most, they just kind of like clip in. But you can see how the seat was recovered. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. It looks like a decent little kit. Um, kind of a, it has a different texture. Not quite, you know, what I would expect, not quite my taste. And yeah, I, I never really liked how the Lexus does, you know, like the rear cargo stuff. I don't know, just doesn't look quite right. And the seatbelt's just disgusting. Look at that color, it's so gross. Uh, more kind of nastiness in the carpet here. Um, they did mention the staining, so yeah, don't don't really worry too much about that. But yeah, it is there. Um, it's got the rear diff locker, so yeah, verify that that works. Steering wheel looks pretty good. Um, back to the idea about it maybe sitting out in the sun. I don't really see. Um, that it, I think this has actually been refinished. Yeah, it has. So we talked in another video just recently how these steering wheels, they're made out of a couple different pieces. So, and they're stitched together. So you can see the remnants of these stitches, but right up here, 
there's supposed to be another stitch and you can see, or a, yeah, a joint, a seam. And you can see that here on the inside of the steering wheel. So this has been refinished and you can kind of even see how the, like the texture's a little off here at the top. So I wouldn't totally discount that this had been like parked out in the sun, you know, for a bit of the time. Um, and that kind of leads you to think maybe the whole thing was, the whole truck was repainted. Um, however, like the separation of, yeah, the wood paneling here at the top and here in the console, like it's very normal. Same thing on this fire vent. Again, very normal to, to see that and that's not necessarily a sun thing. But what is a little sad with this like re, you know, this, this like paste that they put on is that they end up filling in, this leather is supposed to be all perforated. And so they end up like filling in that texture. I don't know, just a little minor. You can see how it's done there um, on that on that arm. Anyway, not a big deal. It's just, you know, just kind of annoying. <laughs> Those are the little things that take away from, you know, factory original that, that bother me for some reason, because I'm weird. All right. Uh, yeah, 125,740 miles, super low mileage. That's going to be enticing to some. Uh, yeah, stickers pulling away there on the passenger side visor. Uh, it looks like it's got some, yeah, some sticker on this blank panel uh, to mount something. Um, the sh leather handle sh or the leather shifter handle that looks pretty good. Yeah, pull that wood trim off though. Just makes these look so much older than than what they need to be. Yeah, oh, and we we talk about on this cup holder how without the veneer you you know end up with like this scratch. Yeah, it's even worse when. Um, yeah, when you've got the veneer on there. Yeah, I pulled these off of, yeah, my 100 series. It was like the worst job ever. Yeah, basically ended up taking these console parts and doing them like all like on a bench or on a table. I I don't know how people do it in the vehicle. And maybe I, you know, I, I heated it up. I used like a heat gun, but yeah, it just, it, it was a total pain. It just did not come off easy for me. Uh, looks like this console's been out in the past. This joint's supposed to be a little bit tighter there. Otherwise, yeah, looks looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but you know, it'd be a good runner. Seeing the seeing these stains on the carpet though, like that stuff freaks me out. Especially when it's like all over, like it's more or less the same color on the edge here on the passenger side as it is on the driver's side. I don't know. I note some dings here in the door jam on the um, on the passenger side. Yeah, but the leather kit looks pretty good. You can see how that passenger seatbelt is quite a bit cleaner than what we saw on the driver's side. Even though they mentioned uh, paintless dent repair, I don't see any evidence of it yet. Uh, so yeah, kind of interesting to see where we'll where we'll see that. Um, on these fabrics, we talk about this in pretty much every video, um, where they're pulling off there. Just yeah, grab a little pry tool or a you know screwdriver and tuck that back in, and nobody will ever know. And again, like see the little kind of like mold or the residue. I could I couldn't get it off. I used a couple different things and yeah, didn't really have any success getting that off. Oh, we can see a Vince sticker. How great, right there. Uh, there was also one on the driver door. I know we skipped, but yeah, the Vince stickers placed in the same spot. I do see now that we you know come back to this photo. Um, I do see what appears to be a little bit of rust here. Um, yeah, if you're interested in this one, ask for a detailed photo of this area. Um, that could be an area where the door was pushed in, you know, in a little minor minor accident, minor bump, and the paint's been compromised and it, and it uh, rusts there. Could just be the lighting too. Um, this is on the passenger rear door, so one back, and it's kind of got like similar artifacts. Uh, so again, it could just be the lighting, but it's definitely worth asking for a follow-up. All right, second row looks pretty clean. At least the leather does. This, I'm guessing this is the original leather and not part of the kit um, that they did on the front seats. Some minor dents in the door jam again. Not, still not seeing the paintless dent repair uh, evidence. Maybe they did it, did it the right way. A couple stains in the headliner. I'm trying to see if there's like a paint line here on this door jam. That could very well be a paint line. Um, yeah, run your, if you're if you're able to check this out, run your finger over that and see if there's a, 
see if there's a height difference between those. Again, the staining on the carpet just being like all over. That's so weird. There's all there's also a, like a color difference here on these seats. Um, makes me think that maybe they kind of like painted or added some pigment to it. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, I don't want to see that driver's seatbelt again. It's so gross. How does it get that way? Please, somebody. Nobody's left a comment explaining how the driver's seatbelt starts to look like that. Like, are you riding around without a shirt after going to the beach? I don't know. Are you spilling stuff while you're driving? Again, please explain it to me. I don't do either of those things, so I just don't comprehend it. <laughs> Lights work, doors open, so many photos. The texture on these just look weird. This just doesn't look quite right. All right, moving to the rear cargo area. It looks pretty clean. This carpet here on the tailgate, usually that looks gross. That's not bad, but the cargo area does look pretty gross. Like there's been some, yeah, some stains back there. This, um, the pattern you're seeing on the fabric is like very indicative of somebody running, um, yeah, like one of those like extractors, the stain extractors on it to try and clean it up. Anyway, moving to the engine bay, finally, uh, we've got vent stickers on uh, both fenders. Uh, do see a radiator that's kind of yellowing out a little bit. Definitely something to yeah, keep in mind maintenance-wise to, yeah, to replace. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty clean. You can see it's still got some of the, in this case, like the zinc plating on some of these bolts. Um, yeah, it's precisely what you want to see for 170 uh, or 125,000 miles kind of a weird, you know, blackness around this hole. It should look like this one. Not, not quite sure what's going on there, but yeah, pretty clean. They've obviously got some, you know, some oil or some kind of like a, you know, dressing, some something to make this look, look a little bit better sprayed on there. But it yeah, overall looks pretty clean. Doesn't look like these bolts on the fender have been turned, at least from what I can tell in these photos. Yeah, looks, looks pretty clean. How many times have I said that in the video? Anybody keeping track? Uh, interesting little residue here could could just be from like leaves and it's not actual rust but could very well be from rust you can kind of see it continuing along this edge here at the top of the firewall uh, blue fan cl uh, clutch I guess you'd call that so why do we need two photos this is totally unnecessary of this engine cover oh my gosh all right moving to the undercarriage Yep, clean. This is about what you'd expect for Florida. Um, sometimes you can get into you know corrosive kind of like on the you know uh, situations like on the beach. Yeah, it looks looks pretty clean. Uh, the CV boots look good. These are definitely it looks like aftermarket axles based on at least whatever that sticker is. A little wet here on the passenger side. Definitely interesting why why that's yeah why that's so wet why it appears so wet. Uh, you've got some leaking going on here. This is probably from power steering, I'd guess, based on where it is. It's kind of like leaking on the inboard side of the boot. Could just be from maybe sloppy oil changes. Yeah, not sure. But the frame looks good. A little bit of corrosion on the running boards. Again, not, not a big deal. If you're smart, you'll just pull those off. <laughs> Yeah, weird, weird coloring. That's all. That's all I'll say there. Just kind of like weird staining, but at least it's pretty clean. Rear axle looks great. This is what you exactly what you want to see on on a truck you're gonna buy. But yeah, uncharacteristically bad like rust situation on the back of this trailer hitch. It, you know, at these little mounting brackets. Again, it's pretty inconsequential, but. Uh, looks like some sort of leak. This could be, you know, something dripping from above and getting on the rear axle. Uh, I did, no, that was in another listing. I was going to say I saw a receipt for um, for a pinion seal, but uh, some more wetness here. So normally if you're seeing wetness right here on the passenger side underneath, just below this front skid plate, that could be just from running the vehicle on a humid day. And that's the AC, you know, can, uh, from the evaporator, kind of that condensation dripping down. However, I'm seeing it like on both sides, it kind of makes me a little bit, a little bit nervous. Uh, yeah, definitely worth asking about there. But yeah, there's some etchings. Looks like they've got it on most of them. 
good good photos a little cover here on this 12 volt outlet and the back is broken and oh yeah so that is not the way to repair the key fob um go I'll, I'll leave a link in the description i'm not sponsored i just appreciate these guys so yoda md they 3d print the little housing have a little titanium ring that's the way to that's the way to fix this and that's horrific <laughs> oh my gosh that's worse oh man okay let's see i couldn't not verify pull it occurred sometimes in certain roads pulled vehicle in da -da -da -da, compressed I don't know, front calipers not locked up so it looks like there's maybe something pulling no issue with the brake system pull must be due to the road um so it looks like they quoted hard to know if they did this but valve cover gaskets that could be what's leaking um both front cv axles so it looks like that was recommended maybe that was done then um left front upper control arm um yeah i didn't see that it's hard to get a good photo and then it looks like they did an alignment yeah hard to know whether that's just a um yeah like a recommendation or if they did that work Looks like they've got some records. So back to this like November time frame. How many miles does it say? Does it have the mileage? So it's got 60. This is interesting. I think that mileage that we saw in the Carfax report is wrong then, at least based on this. So looking at this, this is from November of 1999. It's got 7,000 miles at that point. That makes quite a bit more sense than it already having 36, 38,000 miles at this point. And then you can see here into 2000, it's only got 14,000. So heavy use, certainly through the first part of its life, but not uh, 38,000 miles in uh, yeah, just a couple months. So it looks like they, Carfax, took... You, and by the way, you can send these receipts, you know, images of these receipts uh, to Carfax and get that, get that amended so it doesn't look like you had um, yeah, 30... Uh, 38,000 in just a couple months. So the paintless dent repair removal was done on the left fender. Um, so you, yeah, that's good to see that. They they might have pried from, uh, you know, from the inside of the uh, the engine bay. Anyway, good receipts. You can go through these if you're interested. Um, yeah, look at, you know, just verify the timing belt service was done. And yeah, there you go. All right, let's get out to the main photo here. So yeah, pretty good truck overall, low mileage. I think the paint, you know, the issues with the paint and it just not being 100% are gonna, you know, obviously detract from from it getting, you know, kind of top shelf money. Um, yeah, maybe it costs us 30 grand. I don't know. So we had those LX 470s. Um, they went for, yeah, 38, but they had half the mileage. Um, so you pay a little, you get a little discount for getting an LX versus the Land Cruiser. Um, I, I just, I don't think this one is like presented as well. It's kind of got some, it's just kind of some weirdness to it. And again, I, I hate people just, um, I know it's a business model, but yeah, I just don't like people making absurd amounts of money on these. So <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, 30, 31,000. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works out for whoever buys it. Again, it's not a it's not a viewed queen. It's not perfect, but it's a, it seems like a pretty pretty good cruiser for somebody and a good project. All right. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for taking your time to watch this. See ya.